parent, ideal parent, be for the sake of building the brain that we want our children to have? What are some of the things that we can do in our parenting? And probably my, most, my strongest recommendation is to be an active listener. Because here during the child's growth, these executive functions are developing. Their judgment, their ability to evaluate, make good choices based on deduction, induction, logic, being able to plan goals, being able to evaluate, critically evaluate data from different sources, from the internet. All those things are these executive functions developing during the school years. And that we can actually help their development to reach a higher potential when we give those networks a chance to be activated. Now, kids when they are start about age five are still asking a lot of questions. By age about 15, the number of questions they ask is reduced to almost 5% of what it is when they were age five. And they don't stop asking questions because they don't have them. They stop asking questions because they've gotten the message about our interest. So consider, when your child is young and asks so many questions, you explain it, you're enthusiastic about it, but sometimes when they ask the same question over and over, it becomes challenging to have be, to be as enthusiastic. Then there's more things to do. So when we say, how is your day, when we ask them questions, and they're young and start telling us what everybody brought to lunch and what they wore and what they said, we really find it hard to spend the whole half hour listening to their rundown. So we might start multitasking, doing other things. The message that the child is getting is, I guess my comments aren't that important. Because I know and I say when something's important, I've seen my mom and dad just put all their attention there. They're not being able to put all this together logically, but it's developing, they're seeing the pattern. So as time goes on, they get the message. Putting an effort into this discussion isn't going to get my parents involved. So, active listening, which is harder than it may sound, but it means when you ask a child a question or when they come to you with an opinion, listening without interrupting, without the facial expressions or grimacing that shows how you're feeling about it. When they're finished, giving them a few moments in case they want to add something, not jumping in, oh, now I get to say something. And then when they finish, instead of jumping in with our opinion, reflecting back what you heard them say. Okay, so if I understand what you're saying, I'm repeating it back to them. That is immensely powerful. The messages we're sending them is that they have the brain power to think, that their ability to form and make decisions is important. And the response you'll find is they'll continue to trust you, they'll be smart in making their decisions, they'll evaluate information because you're an active listener.